Hey Dan, I'm Darren. I am uh, 31 years old. I'm a third year advertising student at RMIT and I'm in my final semester. How did you find it? Did you enjoy it? Do you think it's worthwhile? A waste of time? No, my high school was terrible. Like, at least like maybe 50 years behind Australia. It was while I was at school, I was in prefabs with no heating in winter, with really old school teachers with corporal punishment. It sounds crazy, but that's what it was. And what were your plans in high school? Did you have any aim when you graduated? Um. <laughs> Looks all gritty around here, like, oh, he lives in the slum. Is that just an abandoned house, or? Yeah, it used to be like a um, restaurant, I think. But with my education at that age, at that stage, I wasn't really going to break any any boundaries. So by when I got to sixth year, all I knew I wanted to, or, or twelfth, what do you call it here? I knew, I, I, all my plan was to just see the world and get out. But I, I like to be in advertising and... <laughs> Thank you very much, buddy. Can you bring this back into mummy? Sorry, <laughs> That's all right, yeah, You bring it to mum? Good boy. I knew I wanted to do advertising. Really didn't know what that was. I knew I'd like to make ads because that seems like something cool. I like, come up with good ideas. Maybe I should do advertising. But in Ireland at that stage, there was no undergrad course to do advertising. It was not just a thing. So the advice I was given was um, do marketing. I knew I didn't want to be in marketing. It, it, it sucked. It was too dry. I was studying accounting and ta taxation. and But the stuff that I did love was um, customer behavior and, and stuff like that. <laughs> That's a whole lot of chocolate. The career I put in advertising and now it's changed from money to to just a pure passion. I just love doing it. I love I love when I get it right. It, it's like a drug. I love like I love it. Um, how, how do you juggle between all your commitments? I mean your family, uni, work, internships, etc etc etc. I have a cape. <laughs> Um, I don't know, you just do it, no choice. Um, yeah, it's because of my partner Brooke really is the only reason I could do it if it wasn't for her. And, uh, and her commit, like her willingness to give up everything that she thought she would have at this stage in her life. But um, yeah, it's not that far off. Hey, you, you're over here getting yeah. your face wet. Right. Hey, I did all my summer and moved to Germany. Oh wow. And uh, to Nuremberg. And that was kind of like a big thing that um, people used to do then. Like our students would go over and live in the summer in different German places and just work in factories and stuff. So that was yeah. like, that's awesome. Um, like me and my mate, my dog, we couldn't speak German. How's it now? Next year, come back. I did travel <laughs> all over Europe, like then by train, just more of a tourist without working. Oh, thank you. Will you bring this into mum? Thank um, you. Yeah, working in a, in a magazine factory in Germany. That was crazy because there was a whole lot of refugees, and uh, no. Europe had just opened up most of its borders at that time, so there was people from all walks of life all work, working in factories that I, and I was working with them, and they had the same respect for me as I had for them. But from totally different backgrounds, you learn. Your mind just gets blown. You, you enter a world that you you, know, you just don't know about. You're not going to read about it in the book. And definitely with advertising, I use that all the time. And I, I think probably my age is, helps me there too. From my side of town, to see I go. From my side of Just walk a different way home, you know what I mean? That, like that phrase, if you walk the same way back as the way you came, you'll you know, see it on you. And within advertising, like, always walk a different way because you'll see something new. That will stay in your mind you're, as you're researching the product or the target audience. 
just all jumps in together. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll... <laughs> That's you're, you're a bit choppy, buddy. Did you bring it back into mum for me? Did you do that for me? Thank you. Um, and if you go back into the past and revisit your 12 self, what advice would you give, if any? I think I'd tell me you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Just keep, just don't be afraid. No, I think, no, from what I said before, and I knew I needed to get out and be bigger, and I had to go push myself a bit further, yeah, keep, just, you'll be right. I think I'd probably tell myself to maybe hurry up and be all right, because I don't want to be 31 as a dad and still at uni. Look her in the eye and say, don't get Facebook, don't get the internet, and don't get a boyfriend. <laughs> um, how fun. I was boring as well. I was like a study kid. Uh, two numbers that matter for like a month, and then <laughs> it's nothing. What would you say? Would you say your primary life is now, later, or always in high school? In high school, I will, I will, in 50 years time, when I'm retired, I'll probably say that part of my life was in high school, in high school, just because High school isn't like you don't have to worry about stuff. You don't have to like it's just so easy and like there's a there's a timetable and there's, like things that people tell you be places and like. Are you happy more so than in high school? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. Wow. Oh, I think it's oh, I I know like yet yet to come. Tired. Tough question. Because <laughs> cha things change, I think, because if you live in different places, the experience is so different. Like, four years ago, I was working in a, as an audio tech in Brisbane with no kids, and now I'm a, an unemployed student. But I know good things are coming, you know what I mean? Now, what would you define a success? Getting paid to do what you love to do. Like, I, I don't think you can... And uh, being able to do what you love doing, like, I don't think you can put like a, I don't know, it's tricky. Being challenged in a job where you, you're appreciated and, you're, and you, you know you're doing well. And not just that, but you, you enjoy it. Cool. And for me, I, I might think, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Oh, I don't know, at the moment, I've got a half decent car. That's pretty much it for me. What now? You just save some money, get a house. Cool. Travel? Yeah, keep travelling. For now, I'm kind of on a break until tomorrow, <laughs> and then it's not my next show. But yeah, 